in America, we need to go back only three or four generations to get to a time when most people did not have access to grid electricity. But in our time, there are still a billion and a half people with no access to modern grid electricity. Consider the impact that having no access to power would have on your life. Consider the impact of living without electricity. Imagine the limits that would place on your life and your opportunities. Of course, people don't do without light. Light is so important. But they have a very poor workaround, the kerosene lantern. And as you may know, kerosene lanterns are dangerous and dirty and dim. And they also tend to be very expensive. Now, the good news is that there are already great technologies on the market, great solutions, actually. The small-scale solar home system, these systems have a panel, a wiring within the home, a battery, and they're scalable. So you can start with a smallish system and then scale up to a very large system. Uh, these are not just replacements for the kerosene lantern. They provide meaningful amounts of energy, meaningful amounts of electricity. The problem, of course, with solar is this very large upfront cost. And I think we see that in our own lives. Probably very few of us have solar panels on our roofs at home. But the upfront cost is the problem in this context. It's just these systems are just not affordable for the people who need them the most. So who are these people, these unelectrified, the unconnected? Well, they tend to be among the poorest people in their own countries, living on less than $4 a day less than $2 a day, less than a dollar a day. And worse than that is that their incomes are irregular and uncertain. And that makes it very difficult to predict your cash flows, very difficult to save. Um, so when they go to market, they tend to prefer, understandably, things that come in small portions, small packets. And marketers call this sachet marketing. You know, making your product available in small, single use or, or, um, or you know, one or two um, doses of toothpaste or um, shampoo or soap. And when you think about the profound and tremendous growth and adoption of mobile phone service in developing countries, it's really the same pricing model, isn't it? It's, uh, it's fundamentally pay as you go. You, you buy the phone, but the phone doesn't work unless you also buy the airtime. So you've got the phone, and then it's pay-as-you-go for the airtime. And that's a very compelling pricing model and value proposition for people with low incomes, uncertain incomes, and irregular incomes. At Simpa Networks, we're doing exactly the same thing for clean electricity. Here's how it works. First, the customer makes a small initial payment to get the equipment. We work with a local solar systems integrator to install a Simpa-powered solar home system at the customer's home. But it doesn't work unless you also buy the energy credits. So small initial payment for the equipment, and then pay as you go for the electricity. But here's the best part. Those small payments for electricity, they add up over time, and they add up towards that purchase price. And once the customer has paid that purchase price and completed the contract, the system unlocks permanently. And they get electricity free and clear. Here is the hardware piece of our technology, just one part of it. But this is the core system in the home. This is the box that contains the, uh, the battery and the electronics and really regulates the flow of electricity. You type in a valid code into that little box, and you've got the power. So it's simple. It's clean, reliable energy, pay-as-you-go convenience that leads to ownership. Now is their time. Now is their time to enjoy the opportunities of energy. Now is their time to have the power that we have had for so long. Consider that power and imagine what you could do. Thank you.